Hello students, welcome to the solution of question number 19 of the BSDS sample paper 2024. Now, in this question, we're looking at a function log n to the power u by n, and we have to figure out the range of u so that this limit converges to any constant. It might be zero, it might be something else, any constant as n tends to infinity. Now, let us have a quick glance at the options, right? Ignoring that none of the above, let us check what the options look like. All of them are in form of some ranges, right? So let us pick one value that is common among a few options and test it. So I can see that option that there is the value of u equal to one present in all of a, b and c, right? Some way or the other. So what happens at u equal to one? Let us see. I mean, how does the function behave? So at u equal to one, let us take this one. At u equal to one, we have log n by n and limit n tends to infinity, right? Now, this is very clear to you all, right? That as n increases, log n will increase, but at a much slower pace than n. So this one will be zero, okay? Now, what happens if u is not equal to one? Now, in that case, this original limit will still be in the form of infinity by infinity, right? And we can apply L orbitals rule, right? So if we apply L orbitals rule, let us take the functions in the numerator and denominator separately. So we will be applying L orbitals rule to limit n tends to infinity log n to the power u by n. So we will end up with limit n tends to infinity u log, sorry, log n u minus one into one by n and one in the denominator, all right? So this will get solved to limit n tends to infinity. Then I have u by n log n to the power one minus u. Just check the calculations, they should be correct. I changed the logarithm from numerator to denominator. Now, if you look at the denominator, we want this limit to converge to any finite non-zero constant because the zero case has already been discussed at u equals to one, right? So we want to converge to any finite constant. For this to happen, the denominator should grow faster than the numerator, right? Because if we are going towards infinity, the bottom should be heavier, right? So that will pull down the value of the entire thing to zero or whichever value that converges to may it be u, it could be anything, all right? The denominator should be larger than the numerator for the convergence to occur. So this will imply that one minus u greater than zero because if u greater than equal to one, then the denominator would grow much faster than the numerator and the limit would diverge, all right? So as n is growing infinitely, the expression will converge. The expression that we got after applying L orbitals rule will converge only when one minus u is not greater than zero or u less than one. Okay, so I hope I could explain this to you. Now, if u would have been greater than one, then log would have been gone to the numerator and that would increase much faster than the denominator and it would diverge. So one minus u should be less than zero, right? So that means u should be less than one, all right? So what have we obtained from here for this to converge? I have u less than one. Because if u is less than one, then you can see that the denominator will start increasing and it will overtake the numerator, all right? And it will converge. Now, at u equal to one, we had a convergence and we have a convergence for u less than one. So what is the total range for convergence? This will be u is less than one, right? So minus infinity to one union one. Now this will be minus infinity one closed. Where is this option? This option B. Okay, so this sum had to be done in two parts. I first discussed the case u equal to one because that is a very common sum, right? N tends to infinity log n by n. 
the value is zero because as n increases, log n also increases, but at a slower pace. All right. Now for the next part of the calculation, I applied L orbitals rule, and then I looked into how the denominator would behave if we were just talking about a convergence. It may be zero, it may not be zero, doesn't matter. All right. So denominator should grow much faster, and that is why u should be less than one. And if u is less than one, then the second case that we obtain apart from u equal to one is minus infinity to one. So adding that to one, we'll have open minus infinity and closed at one, which was there in option B. So we marked that one. All right. So this sum is done. I hope you could understand it. If not, I have explained the entire thing. Just rewind and watch it. And if you need any further help with these type of questions or the course where we set you up to prepare for this examination, do contact the numbers given in the comment below. All right. Bye students. I'll see you all in question 20.